focus, man. It won't clip. It won't? Mm -mm. Yeah, well, what are you talking about? Like this. Oh, I'm sorry. You never worked in Hollywood? Yeah. yeah I can tell. Hit that like button. I'm putting in work out here. I swear to y'all, I'm putting in work. So, we're here in Vinhook, Namibia, in the capital. And I'm with somebody who is not Namibian. Surprise, surprise. So, where are you from exactly? I'm from Angola. You're from Angola? Wow. I think you are the first or second person I've ever met from Angola. So, what brings you from Angola to Namibia? Um, I'm here to study. You're studying here? Yes. Okay. And uh, how long have you been here so far? Five, six years then. Oh, wow. Okay. So, you, you've been here For quite a while. while. Okay. So, you got used to everything here. What are some things that you notice that are different from Namibia compared to Angola? The people, the places. Namibia is so peaceful, you know? There are not that many cars, not that many people. Uh -huh. It's a nice place to live in. Okay, I can see that. You know, I haven't been here very long, but I can definitely see that the vibes here are more chill, more laid back. People don't seem like they're in a rush. When I hop in a taxi or something, guys, we're just like, hey, how's it going, man? Like, just super chill uh, compared to other places where it's just like you could tell they have so much stress that they're holding and it's just a completely different energy. So um, so you've gotten used to the Namibian pace, is that correct? Yes, I have. Okay, that's good to know. Um, what about food? Is there any food that you miss from back home? Yes, I miss the hot dogs. The hot dogs, yes. what? Y'all got special hot dogs? Yes, here the hot dogs are very plain. They don't do much. Okay, so they don't add a lot of stuff. Yeah. No toppings. And, mm -mm. So how do y'all do y'all hot dogs? In, we uh, add a whole bunch of things like corn, chips. Okay. Potato mash sometimes. So y'all do it like Brazilians. Pretty much. Triggered. Triggered. <laughs> <laughs> she don't like Brazilians, y'all. Nah. I don't hate let me, them. Let me stop. Let me stop. I won't say she doesn't like them, but she doesn't prefer them. How about that? How about that? And y'all can light up the comment section and light her up. Now nah, I'm messing with y'all. Anything else that you miss about your country? My family, for okay. one, my friends. What about the coast? Okay. Are you a beach girl or not really? I am. Um, actually, in Angola, I live by the beach. But here in Namibia, I mean, actually in Windhoek, okay. you can't really have that view. Yeah, that's true. You have true. to go all the way to the Swako, Pohantis Bay or something like that. So you don't get everything? No, I don't. So have you been to the coast of Namibia yet? No, I haven't. No way. Stop it. I think you should meet a guy and he should take you or he should offer to take you uh, just maybe for a weekend. I think that would be uh, the best way for you to get to know a new part of Namibia and to get to know the coast. You're right. I should. That sounds interesting, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. You're good, man. So he's just bringing the drinks. It's, it's good, man. The show don't stop. It never stops. So she actually has a strawberry uh, daiquiri. So we're going to get that on camera for you. There you go. She got the strawberry daiquiri. And this is a pina colada. I don't know who's going to drink it, but it appeared out of nowhere. So we'll see what we can do with it, you know. Um, but is there anything that you want to say? Because it's not just me asking you questions. There might be something that you want to share with the audience that I haven't mm -hmm. even thought of. There's nothing. Nothing? Come on. Stop it. I can't it. think of anything. Stop it. Oh, you got the cherries on top too? Ooh, it looks good. It looks really good. Um, I can see that they put a lot into the preparation of things here. Uh, and that's very important. But do you have any uh, any close friends here, like locals, or is, are you more in like a community of people from Angola? No, actually here? I do. I do have a whole bunch of Namibian friends. Okay. They're very nice and welcoming. Yeah, that's been my experience as well. Uh, what is one thing that surprised you when you first came here? Something that you didn't expect about the country? I feel like it's the fact that um, it's supposed to be like an English-speaking country, but most of the people speak Afrikaans, and they expect you to understand Afri Afrikaans. Seriously? I don't. They expect you to understand? Yeah, Maybe because like, you've been here so long. Because me, they don't expect stuff. me to understand. 
they would speak to you in Afrikaans and I'll be like, what are you saying? I don't understand. Ah, uh, see, that never happens to me. I don't know why, but because here all the time people think I'm a Namibian, but they never like will speak to me in Afrikaans. They always speak to me in English. You don't look Namibian to me. Well, you're not Namibian, so okay. it's not up to you to you decide. Have a point. <laughs> yeah. Um, to me, though, everybody, they look just like people in the States to me. Well, no, let me stop. There's a percentage of people who definitely look exotic, for lack of a better word, who wouldn't look like they're from the States. But the majority of people look like they're from the States to me. Like, they don't look very different styles and stuff. It's very much like in America. And what about compared to Angola? Are the styles different here? Like, people dress in a different way? Yes, they do. People in my country are less reserved than here in Namibia. Okay, so it's a lot more open. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's... That has something to do with how big it is. Like here, because it's such a small community, it's like if you were in a small town in any country, you're gonna behave differently than if you're in New York City, right? Yeah. Because, you know, it's just everybody like knows your mama or your auntie or something. So you can only do so much without it getting back to them uh, when you're in a smaller community versus when you're somewhere with millions and millions of people, then it's like you're anonymous. I think that's a factor as well. Or you disagree? She's like, nah. No, I it's don't. Because we speak Portuguese. Beleza. <laughs> okay. So, can you teach us one word that is used in Angola? Something that someone from Brazil wouldn't know. Something that maybe someone from Portugal may not know. Like, what's a slang word that Angolan people use? That if I landed tomorrow in Luanda and I was like, uh, they would be like, like they'd be shocked that I knew it with something like that. Okay. Não estragou nada. No? Não estragou nada. Não estragou nada. Yeah. It's like when you do something, uh -huh. it's supposed to be like, uh, you didn't ruin anything. Ah, uh, okay. It sounds a lot like in Spain they say, no pasa nada. Yeah, something like, like that. Yeah, like it's all easy, like chill, like it's not a big deal, basically. Is what no pasa nada means. Is it the same? Yeah, okay, let me just say. Okay. If I say that I like men, for instance, like I'm straight, yes. but I don't like men in dreads, but you are hot, so I'm gonna be like, no struggle nada, meaning that your dreads did not ruin your chances with me. Okay, interesting. So, no strago nada? No they don't say it right. It's supposed to be noun, but they don't say it that way. They say, oh, you don't no pronounce strago nada. No strago nada. Okay, yeah. interesting. She's, she's dropping gems here, okay? So, you guys uh, pay attention, get your notepads ready. And uh, you know, class is in session right now. Wow. So uh, give me something else. Give me something else. E como. E como. Yeah. Okay, what is How that? How is it? How are you? For uh, anything, you can so use So it's like, that. what's up? Yeah. E como, like that? Yeah. Okay, did I pronounce it too Brazilian for you? Yeah, you did, but it's okay. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. All right. Is there anything that you're looking forward to in 2024? Because it's a new year. Damn. That's a deep. Lot that I'm I gave you some for. deep. Take your time, you know, no rush. I'll edit it. So what matter. am I looking for? No, no, that you're looking forward to. Not that you're looking for specifically. Oh, okay. Something you're looking school. forward to. I cannot wait to go back to school. Okay. And meeting my friends again, like the ones that left the country. I haven't seen them since last year, so. Okay. Those are good things. Anything else? No, nothing else. Just that, okay. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a long year though. I mean a lot's gonna happen beyond school, right? Yep. Okay, well. All right, so I think that'll be enough for now. I right, go ahead, like the video, and everything else that you're supposed to do. Appreciate you guys for watching. Until next time, this is your guy, Jay Focus, reminding you to stay focused. Focus, man.